Hello, all my worthy women out there. My name is Latia, founder of Lions Visions Productions. Welcome to the third installment of my Road to Wholeness video series. Today, I'll be sharing with you three red flags that let you know when Mr. Right is Mr. Wrong. Now, if you followed my story or me, you know I've had my own experiences with dysfunctional relationships of all kind. What I've learned in my process was that I was just as dysfunctional as the men that I was choosing. For this reason, I kept meeting what I call mirror men. These are the same type of guys. So are you wondering why you keep meeting the same type of men? Keep having the same type of issues? Well, let me be the first to tell you ladies. It's you. Hurt people attract other hurt people. Yes, ladies, we are our own worst enemies when it comes to matters of the heart. The first thing we need to understand is that no one, no one is worth loving more than you love yourself. Once you start second guessing yourself and you're second guessing your gut instinct, then you're already on the wrong track. Listen, I don't want you to make the mistakes that I've made. So here are my three red flags that should send you running the other way and clearly tells you when Mr. Right is Mr. Wrong. But before we get there, now ladies, some things are a given. If you see a wedding ring on his finger, he's off limits. It's not worth it. If he's known for having girlfriends, off limits. If he has children all over the city, irresponsible, irresponsible, irresponsible. Stay away from those types. It's not worth it. It's not worth the frustration. It's not worth the headache and you're not going to get anything out of it. Now, these are the three other things that you really need to look out for. Number one, he calls you three or more times a day after you've just met him. Ladies, this doesn't mean he really, really likes you. Don't be naive. This means that he's controlling and could have an obsessive personality. Answer the phone the first time. Check out the conversation. Possibly pick it up the second time, but I would start trying to brush him off. If he calls a third time, don't pick up at all. That is way too much contact for someone you just met. Okay? Number two, he wants to pick you up at your house. Negative. In this day and age, dates need to be in public places where other people can see. Even if someone you know introduced you, he doesn't need to know exactly where you live. Take your own car and always, always, always have your own money. If he's getting that personal so soon, he may have other motives. Remember, he's a stranger. And the last thing you need is an unexpected visit from some sicko. Got that? Okay, last but not least, number three, he makes references to your body or your body part. Yuck, ladies, he doesn't know you well enough to even think he can speak to you on such a personal level. This means that he's objectifying you already. Nine times out of 10, he only wants casual sex. Now, as adults, you can do what you want. But I'd be really suspicious of someone who wanted to be intimate so quickly. They could have something to give you that you really don't want and you can't get rid of. Got that? Are we understood? Okay, ladies. Well, for now, that's it. Be sure to sign up for our 2012 Worthy Women Seminar Series coming up in August. Visit our website to register, www.lionsvisionproductions.com. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and until next time, remember, we are all worthy women, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Until next time, bye-bye.